Alrighty, so much like all of my content pretty much for the most part here on this channel, um, today we're going to be looking at more just very blatant hypocrisy from people on the right, specifically today Charlie Kirk. Some of you might have already heard about this story, but Charlie Kirk went to visit a college in Arizona. I do believe that is where he lives. It was Northern Arizona University, and when he got there, um, he was uh, greeted by a lot of uh, activists, trans rights activists, and um, they were they were doing the Lord's work. They really were. But the reason that I'm even showing you guys this is because I want to focus on the reaction of the right here and what they're saying about what happened. So uh, the post-millennial, which is garbage, uh, re Republican propaganda, if you're not familiar with them, um, says Charlie Kirk visits Northern Arizona University, gets swarmed by angry mob of leftist trans activists, triggered leftists and trans activists yelled slurs and screamed at the popular conservative celebrity. Um, this is not true. They weren't yelling slurs, and we have videos to see that. But Mediaite, uh, they have all of this stuff in uh, really, really, they, they covered all of this. They have a bunch of tweets from Turning Point USA, which is Charlie Kirk's uh, organization. But the first thing that I want to focus on, uh, just before we get into any of it, is um, Jack, his co-host. Um, Jack here posted uh, Charlie Kirk, a video of Charlie Kirk arriving at the thing, at the at the campus, and said, Charlie Kirk laughs as mob of smelly, overweight SJWs screamed, fuck you, fascist, fuck you, fascist. Um, and then he, I don't know why he... It, captioned it like this um but i just if you're gonna if you're really gonna try to make any type of point if you're gonna sit there and attack someone's appearance when it's not even that's not even accurate okay it, this is not even an accurate description of the video i'm never gonna be able to take you seriously i'm always gonna think you're a clown that being said um, let's, uh, let's start rolling the clips here. And again, I want to focus on the reaction of the right here and the Turning Point USA post because, um, you know, they say that the, the right says that they're pro-freedom, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really sound like they are now. Here it is. <laughs> It's funny because the only overweight people, and again, I don't think there's anything wrong with being overweight, okay? Like, that's not something I'm going to sit here and shit on anybody for because that's stupid. Um, that's playground level shit, right? Uh, but, the, I mean, the biggest people are Charlie Kirk's, like, security guard posse. I mean, they're the most overweight people <laughs> in this fucking video, so I don't know what Jack is on about. Um, that is definitely not the only clip here. But it's like I said, I want to read these captions um, here is one from Turning Point USA where they say, Charlie has arrived, a man of the people. Oh, excuse me. And again, uh, these people, they have every right to go out and be doing this. Uh, instead of trying to prove Charlie Kirk wrong through conversation, they just want to yell in his face, this is why our country is moving backward. I'm sorry, I'm just having all types of problems with my technology here. Um, but again, uh, Charlie Kirk doesn't, we don't need to sit down at a table with Charlie Kirk and debate him. Because we know he's wrong. We know that he has been continually wrong on so many different issues. And I'm not going to sit here and name off every single issue. I've covered Charlie Kirk many, many times on this channel. So if anyone's curious, you can go on my channel and search for any Charlie Kirk video that I've made. Um, you know, the country's not moving backwards because people won't sit down to debate Charlie Kirk, believe it or not. That's actually <laughs> pretty fucking wild. Uh, but again... Uh, these people, the people, these conservatives, they want to sit there and talk all this shit online. They will talk all this shit when they're sitting on their show, but then when they get out into the real world and something like this happens, they want to sit there and cry and whine about it. If you can't handle the consequences, and this is a consequence of what Charlie Kirk says of his rhetoric, if you can't handle the consequences of what you say, shut the fuck up. That is what it is. Don't whine about it like uh, Turning Point USA is doing here. Don't do that shit. This is why our country is moving, ba moving backwards. They just want to let yell in his face. N yeah, they have every right to yell in his fucking face. Also, 
Charlie Kirk is a community college dropout. What the fuck are they letting him on a college campus for? He's not going to be able to teach these kids. These kids probably know. I mean, they're, they're already probably more educated than he is. This motherfucker is a college dropout. Why did they even let him on campus? <laughs> Also, it's just like, I'm sorry, going back to the Jack tweet, we have more here from Turning Point USA, but going back to the, to the, <laughs> the Jack tweet, um, it, it, it just, it's wild that you're a grown ass man. These are grown ass people just making fun of other people's appearances because again, they cannot handle the consequences of their own actions. Another tweet here from Charlie Kirk himself. When you send your kids to America's colleges and universities, you're playing Russian roulette with their values and their future. <laughs> again, if he's going to go out in public like this to uh, a, a college campus like this, these people have every right to go up and do something like this. And if it didn't go the way Charlie Kirk wanted it, that's too fucking bad. That's just too fucking bad for Charlie. <laughs> I'm sure that he probably went here and he was trying to get all this good content for his channel uh, or for Turning Point. I don't know. He was going to sit down and do like a change my mind or something like that. He really thought he was going to get all these good moments. But, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if he got anything. Hopefully he didn't get anything. I hope that uh, the entire time he was there, this is what was going on. Because, again, these people are doing the Lord's work. <laughs> There is a lot of people. There is a lot of people out there all shouting at Charlie Kirk, and I absolutely fucking love it. I absolutely love it, and again, um, uh, there are, those were not the only people that were sitting there complaining about Charlie Kirk being literally shouted down, wasn't able to sit down and do what he wanted to do. Um, Charlie Kirk also tweeted out the uh, the post millennial the post millennial excuse me article that I showed at the beginning. Again, I don't know why they're letting Charlie Kirk, who's a college dropout, a community college dropout at that. Um, I don't know why they're letting him anywhere near a college campus and letting him um, speak to other people that are going there. Uh, I, I, it doesn't matter uh, what anyone says. They have every right to do that. They're using, they're exercising their First Amendment rights, just like Charlie Kirk, unfortunately, is exercising his First Amendment right to sit there and spread nasty propaganda, horrible rhetoric that has real, real life um, effects, real dangerous effects. Um, this is something that I've been over multiple times here on this channel. Um, and Charlie Kirk is not the only one. He's not the only one. Um, so I don't want anyone to think that. I'm just, you know, focusing on Charlie Kirk. But um, that's going to be it for the video.